Hi, I'm Ewan Newdale, editor of Axis International magazine. I'm here at the Rewell depot uh, in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. They're launching a converted 1200 SJP boom, a 38 meter machine that is now fully electric. They did this before to a 26 meter machine back at Apex 2014 where they launched it at the show and it was the first of its kind, of its, that of its size, to be converted to fully electric. And now the 38 meter is the first of its kind to be converted to fully electric too. And uh, this launch is taking place while Apex 2017 is on in Amsterdam. Um, and I spoke to uh, Naughty Turner, the CEO uh, of Rewell, and, uh, and Nico Denalden, who's the uh, technical um, manager here at uh, Rewell, who developed the machine, and asked them to tell me a little bit more about it. We've, uh, we've been quite happy with the, the 26 meter, and, and then we went on, Nico uh, and team also were able to convert a 28 meter as well, so we went even a bit higher. It was a specific request from one of our top customers, KLM Airlines. Uh, they wanted to work inside with, without uh, emissions, and, um, and also noise is important. They're, you know, they're very focused on, uh, on their work environment and also on their employees. And, so it was a specific request, and uh, we just happened to have uh, Nico and that high level of expertise inside Rewall, and so we were able to convert it. And it's, uh, it's gone exceptionally well. Uh, KLM is very, very happy uh, with it. And then, uh, you know, Nico was up for uh, converting many more, depending on the level of demand, and, and that demand has been there. So we've been able to sell some machines to other rental companies. I think they've been happy with them. And we also have uh, many in our rental fleet, and, uh, and they're performing quite well. So we've been happy with that. How many have you sold of the 26-meter machine? Sold, I, I don't have that exactly. I can tell you we've converted 32 total units into electric. And, uh, you know, and one good thing that you see is, is we've, we've done this 100% electric, and then you also see how the industry is really focused on this. Uh, we think this will also, it's a signal to the industry as well. We've got a keep uh, going forward to this path of sustainability and uh, and I think the manufacturers uh, they also respond to uh, to signals such as this and and they're also bringing more hybrid machines and these kinds of things because it's it's critical for our industry that, uh, that we get that right. Do you think this is an example of how uh, electric machines are, are the future and indeed could electric and hybrid machines uh, be the only type of uh, equipment used in the future? You know, one uh, one could envision that world. I mean, you know, you think about uh, vehicles that are driving on the on the roads today, and, and there's uh, you know there's over a million uh, access machines worldwide, and, and so that's uh, that's quite a lot, and and the market will demand that longer term, I expect. Yeah. So please tell me a little bit about the 38 meter that you've uh, just produced here. Um, what led you to create it? It was a customer inquiry that, that we wanted to to satisfy, and um, and we. Uh, we said, you know what? I think we're up to the challenge. Uh, once again, uh, I just uh, I turned to Nico and, uh, and said, uh, "What do you think?" And uh, he didn't actually have to think long about it. He said, uh, "I think we're up for the challenge. Let's see what we can do." And and then over the course of uh, of a few months, uh, he put it together. And uh, and so today's the uh, the result of that. Can you tell me a little bit about the application that this uh, equipment would be used for? It's once again uh, working inside and just the, the need for the, the zero emissions and drastically reduced noise levels. Uh, and, and once again, it's, it's a work environment thing that, uh, that the customer is really focused on. And, and so, uh, you know, so we wanted to satisfy that. Can you tell me who your customer is for this machine? I, we, won't, uh, we won't go into that right now, actually. Um, but uh, needless to say, it's, uh, it's a customer that People, if I did say it, people would know exactly who it is. A very important customer for us, and and uh, someone someone really well known. And uh, they prefer not uh, not for, not to be mentioned. Are you hoping for the same level of sales for the 38 machine as you saw with the 28 and 26 meter machines uh, that you produced three years ago? Sure. We uh, we expect that the the similar level or, or even more um, because uh, you know. Things, there's a reason why uh, the manufacturers have created machines at, at, uh, at greater heights and they keep going. And, uh, and, and so also uh, for this, we, we expect that the, the demand will actually be even more 
than for the 26 and 28, uh, which, is, which has been uh, a nice level of demand. Apart from talking specifically about the, the application this machine was designed for, what other applications can you see uh, a boom like this being used for uh, in the future? You know, any, any work in, uh, in residential areas, uh, working at, at height, uh, you know, on, a, on apartment buildings, and on hotels, that kind of thing, and it's just, you know, the, where the noise is, is really important. That's, that's going to be important. Uh, any uh, large sort of cavernous uh, interior work that, uh, that would need to be done. Obviously, this one, the 80, uh, the, uh, the 26 meter and the 28 meter were for, uh, for airlines. I think airlines could also benefit from the 38 meter as well. Uh, those A380s are, are pretty high. Those Dreamliners are pretty high and being able to reach out to them. So that, that works as well. And then just, just other uh, cavernous areas. Also, um, film studios are, uh, are, are quite interested in this because, once again, just with the, the noise level and, uh, and they're also very uh, cognizant of, uh, of a carbon, carbon footprint. So that's also some other applications too. So in the future, would you see yourself producing higher working height versions of this machine? Can you see it going uh, greater than 38 meters? And what about converting machines of lower working heights than the 26 meter? So uh, I think we can do it, right? We can do it. So we can this, do it. This, this so, system uh, is there. So. Yeah, the system is there. So, so why not? Uh, you know, like I, like I said, the uh, I think the world, the market will will demand that and expect that longer term. Now, the manufacturers have created the uh, at lower heights. They've created those uh, you know those mini electric machines at those lower heights. So we we probably wouldn't do it ourselves. But um, in terms of uh, going higher and higher and with this, uh, why not? So now let's move on to the production of the machine itself. What were some of the challenges uh, in creating the 38 meter boom that you have here? The biggest challenge was to get everything underneath of the hoods. Because we thought, first we thought it's a, it's a bigger machine, so it should be easier than the smaller ones, but it was more difficult, actually. So the, uh, the, the battery pack, the, the electric motor, all the things together, it was quite a puzzle to get everything in place. And that was, but finally we, we did it. We make it, so there are some things we will make different on, on, on the next machine, but it, 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 the, the concept is good as it is now. So how long can you run this machine for on a single charge and how do you power it? The, um, it's, it's powered by normal wet batteries, so yeah. that's also because uh, we use the batteries as also as part of the counterweight. And you can choose also, or there is an option maybe to build it uh, with, with the Li-Ion batteries, they are uh, lighter, but they are much more expensive and then you have to add extra steel to get your counterweight. So the, 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 the weight of the machine on the 38 meter is only 900 kilograms more than the diesel version. On the smaller machines is only 250 kilograms more because also we use the batteries for as part of the counterweight what we need for the stability of the machine. So the smaller machines are 80 volt systems. This is a 96 volt system. So it's a little bit more powerful to get the, uh, yeah, the, the amperage a little bit under control because of the, the, yeah, the bigger cylinders you have to uh, to, to operate and also the, the longer uh, longer boom and that kind of things. Um, furthermore, I think the um, yeah okay the electric motor it's it's more more power out of the electric motor so 36 kilowatts. Um, what else? Um, on the diesel machines we have done quite a lot of tests that roughly on on a day operational day that they use the, uh, or the diesel engine is running for four and a half, five hours on a day, on an eight hour shift. But the time that they operate the machine is only two, two and a half hours. So that's what, that kind of information we have used also for this machine. So this machine, the smaller machines and also this one, we have calculated that you can operate the machine for five hours, always. Continuous. Continuously. But then on this machine, only when you, as soon as you stop the function, the electric motor is also, it will also stop. So you're not using any more power out of your batteries. So in theory, you can do a double shift with this machine as well. The same as what the 28 meters. And that's also what we see in the field. Uh, on all the machines, we have an, a track unit installed, so we can monitor exactly what they are doing and how they are using the machines. And that's also what we see. So in general, they're using the machine or operating the machine for two, two and a half hours. And on some of the customers, they're using the machines also for four hours. And they start at early in the morning till 11 in the evening. And then they only have to use the machines for four or five hours. And still there is battery capacity, uh, or still there's capacity in the battery to operate it still. So the four or five hours, it's easy. And some of the machines we have seen even close to the six hours that they operated the machine. So 
enough for the, for the double shift of, uh, of the day. And then the charging time is 8 till 10 hours. It's fully charged and then the next morning you can do it again. So was there anything that JLG had to do to the machine itself before you could start converting it? Or was there any changes that you had to make to the chassis or anything else, um, or any, any other components, uh, before you could go ahead and uh, create the electric version? No, 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 no. We keep everything, uh, every, the whole system is still working, even the analyzer system. So we have not uh, uh, done anything on that. So the, the, the big feature that you have with the analyzer, it's still possible, or we can still use it on this machine. So all the calibrations, all the adjustments, everything, we can still do that with the analyzer. So we have not do anything on that. So that was one of the, 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 the main things that it should still all keep that in, 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 in as it is, because otherwise you also make, uh, maybe you can have influence on the safety systems of the machine, that's something we not want. Also on the, on, on the, on, on the structural part of it, we only, the only thing we have changed is the, the counterweight, the shape of the counterweight, because we have to put the, the batteries in. And uh, for, furthermore, the structure of the machine, we have not changed anything. I think also an important point is the, uh, the, the, the level of maintenance. So the, on the electric motor, you have no maintenance at all on the electric motors. Another thing is that if there is an electric motor installed, you only have half of the, the operating time. Of the, the, the system is only used for half of the time. When the diesel engine is running, also the pump is running. So it also has um, uh, influences on your hydraulic systems. So the oil goes around and that go, gives also some, um, some wear and tear in, in your system. And with the electric motor, you not have that. Well, thanks very much, Nico and Naughty, for, uh, for sparing your time today. Uh, during this launch to tell us all about the great new machine. Yeah, Good. sure. We appreciate all right. it. All right, all the best.